Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I have, guess what? A paper haul. My sister and I went uh, all the way to Morgantown today, and uh, we visited Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So, uh, with a books a million stop in between and lunch. So, anyway, I want to show you what I got. I have Halloween still on this side. I am 13 cards away from making my goal of 137 for the, the elementary school children where my daughter works. 13. I got 13 left. So, but today was Christmas. If you see over here, I'm covering up some mess. This is blue paper that I had uh, purchased a bunch. My friend Libby, uh, a while back, she had given me a bunch of stuff, and I made a video on that. And then she asked me if I wanted to buy the rest of her stuff. And it included one of those, uh, it looks like stainless steel framed, multi-drawer with the different colored drawers, uh, rolling cart. It included that. Um, punches, border punches, uh, um, stamps. All different kinds of good quality name brand paper and um, cardstock. This is two two of the shades of blue cardstock that she had given me. Um, not given me, but she had given me some in the beginning, and then she just and then I bought the rest. And I was hoping that I would be able to get away with that icy blue, maybe in the dark blue for Christmas. And my cat trip is going to come over here. Um, don't know if it's going to match. We'll see. <laughs> I put that there to like cover up all my Halloween scraps. Do you want to see? See my Halloween scraps over there? But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got today. I, um, I'm going to start out there with showing you some of the, some of the paper that I got, um, in that, in that D-Stash purchase. Got one of these, the Lewis Family Vacation. Now this is just like paper-like. I mean, it's like, it's not thick. But it's not bad for card making. But um, that was in there. The plaid tidings, uh, which is just all plaid, which is be great for the you know backgrounds and layering. Now this was I I bought this in the D stash, and then this, and I actually looked at this t uh, today, and she used a bunch out of it. But I actually looked at this today um, about buying it, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, I did pick up some paper pads. It wasn't my this one wasn't my favorite, but I uh, I definitely will be able to use that. I really, really will be cutting these apart. I'll be cutting, I'll be cut apart. And then there was this, and I'm not really sure, but it's um, it's cardstock, but it's some of it's printed like that. That was just a, a little bit of what I got in uh, the D stash that I purchased from her. Okay, it was buy one, buy one get two free um, at of Recollections Paper Pads. I'm doing this because I'm like getting ready to turn around and, and, uh, and pick these up. I got I still have Halloween just falling everywhere in here. Okay, this is just kind of what I was hoping would be. Uh, I would be able to use this paper for. But it's not a real good match. But I think on that other one that uh, I just showed you, it might be a good. It's not a real good match. I think I actually have some darker blue paper, uh, cardstock. I was hoping I could use that because there's just a ton of it. Anyway, the Starry Night. I don't really have a lot of blue. This is good for just like uh, season, like the season, say, um, just the cool months, you know, the snowy, icy months. Yeah, got the Christmas tags and got the you know, cut aparts, but still, it's still pretty just for a, a card that you just send to somebody in the middle of winter, like, you know, July or J January. Yeah, you could do July. That'd cool you off. But January, just to say, you know, let's get through the, let's get through all this bad weather. And, uh, these cut aparts. These are some, some of this pretty. I like the, the deer. But it was, 
it was a pretty pad. It's a good pad. I like that. That was a good purchase. Like I said, it was buy buy one get two free. So of course, you know, it made uh, three for twenty dollars. Actually, twenty twenty one dollars and nineteen cents. So, um, okay. Then there's my oh, <laughs> I put it. It was there. I got the peppermint stripe. I thought, oh, this is pretty. I like red. I like red and white. I'm a red and white Christmas girl. My my tree's usually always red and white. Uh, and of course, we just have. You could actually use this for a card base if you wanted to. It's not. It's a little thin, but it's not bad. I love that with the deer. Too big. I guess you could make a six by six card. And I have a whole pack of this. And this is another one of those just winter. You know, just, you could just make a winter card out of it. This is like, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night, you know. Um, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen, and to the top of the porch. It's, uh, I believe this, what is this? The, um, I can't think of it. The one you, you, you know, the night before, it was the night before Christmas. There, I finally got it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. This is really cool. I like. You could also use that for uh, um, Valentine's Day. This is a throwaway page. And this, what did I say? This was peppermint stripe. Again, you could use this for Valentine's. It has some decent cut aparts that you could use for um, decorating a card front. Yeah, and I guess is this what is this supposed to be? What kind of flower? It's kind of a kind of a goofy looking flower for Christmas. Uh, my sister and I had a pretty pretty nice time out, nice lunch, and this is again it's the night before Christmas, but uh, different. But it, instead of the white with the red writing, it's red with a white writing. Well, it's actually not even white; it's off white. I like peppermint. There we go. And these are the. One through twenty-five, a couple of pages of that, and uh, there we go. There's that one, and then I got the safe freeze, and I keep hoping I don't have this one. I wasn't crazy about this one until I saw a few of the pa papers. I, I don't know. I'm just like reconsidering some things. Whenever I look at papers, this is the cut apart. Thing about this one, it, the red's not real bright red. It's almost like an orangey. Orangey pinky, I don't know. I know that doesn't. Those two don't even go together. Orangey pinky, just uh, just it to me. Oh, I guess pinky on the pink side or something. Now this this let it snow. You could cut that out um, and put that on a card front, and you could cut these out and put them on a card front, which is what I might do. Coco. Um, mistletoe, holly berries, and pine. Oh, that might, this one might actually go with one of these. That might actually go. Don't know. Okay. It says I have an incoming call. There we go. I hate it when my, my phone does stuff that I don't want to do at the moment. This you could you could cut this also as part of a card front and put a sentiment. You could put this in a twelve by twelve frame and change it out for um, the holidays. Me, I would probably end up cutting these out as elements for the for card. I don't fussy cut. Um, mistletoe. Those are some decent uh, poinsettias. Poinsettias. This, I don't know what you would do with it. Don't know. You could use this in the background for a card. You may be able to get that cut out. That'd be an awfully big card. I like that for some reason. It's not real crisp. The image isn't real crisp, but I like that. 
good border strips. Don't like this. I just don't like it. It looks like mustard yellow. This would make a really good, that'd make a good background. And then put a solid piece of cardstock with a sentiment. Don't know. This, <laughs> don't know about all this. Of course, that I know they have to, they're not, 12 by 12s aren't really catering to card makers. They're, they are catering to people who do layouts. I like that. I like the snowman. I like this one too. And again, you could put that in a 12 by 12 frame. All right. Got those. That was Michael's. And that was the only thing I got at Michael's. And then we went over... After lunch, we went to Hobby Lobby, and I had never seen this one. It may have been there. Uh, Christmas was 40% off today, and uh, so that made the 6x6, six 419, six, and 8.5x11, uh, it made it 779. So, but Rustic Noel, it was really pretty. I have to bring it up here. It's small. Uh, Sorry, the lighting is not that great. And when I put my arm up like that for it, it kind of... Blocks my light. I like this one. I do like that. Maybe I'll put it... Oh, if I do it like that, my arm's not so much in the way. I like that one. Looks like the board's behind with the very small holly holly leaves you know it looks so familiar maybe I have something that just looks like it don't know I know mistletoe lodge has a lot of the deer pattern in it good background cut aparts yay all right and there are Rustic Noel, and then this was Winterberry. This was the only one that they had in the in the place where it was. This was the last one. My sister and I were looking at them, and we liked this one. And I said, I think I'm going to get this one. Looks like everybody else liked it too because it was the last one. But it does had some really pretty papers in it. Not these. I said some. I didn't say all. There's some. There, I like that one. It's like the roses and poinsettias. Holly. And my sister loves birds. Birds and flowers. She liked the cardinals. She said, ooh, cardinals. Looks like you get four of each page. That'd be good background paper, the Merry Christmas. More background paper. I still have to get my Halloween finished. I've been so busy making cards for children. I like this. Isn't that birch? That's birch bark in them. So many, so busy making uh, the cards for children. I haven't hardly made any for adults. There'll be a few going out to some, some of my people. A lot of my card bases, though, I'm just making out of white paper, uh, and I'll end up trying to find envelopes to fit, to fit the, the cards. Not the ones I'm making for the kids, but some of the ones that I'll be sending out to other people. Anyway, that was, that was my day today. Sorry, I'm trying to get something out of the way. There we go. Um, yeah, this one, this one. Safries, peppermint stripe, and starry night. All right, everybody, that's my haul for today. And I will be back on here probably not until I get the rest of my Halloween cards made. I showed them to my sister, who is not a paper crafter and not a card maker, and she said, These are so pretty, and you're going to give them to a bunch of little kids. I said, Yep, yeah, that, was, that was my... That was my goal. Well, what I will have is if I do like some of the uh, 
the techniques and that I've done on the cards for those kids, I'll have the video that I can always just refer back to if I want to repeat, you know, and get ideas from what I've done so far. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.